It has been a while, my friend. Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. It has been, I think, two weeks since the last one. It's great to see everyone yet again. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and is having a good holiday. Um, and yeah, I actually, I don't even have a plan for today's video, but I wanted to sit back and chat about kind of just what's going on with this car and you know the fact that i haven't made a video in a while just wanted to let you know that i am still here we have some exciting exciting things to go over uh, so that is going to be the next video that i make which is going to be i actually got another car this is something that i actually knew was going to happen for quite a while i wanted to keep it a secret from the channel and it is absolutely not what you would expect so 100 percent when i show this it is not going to be the type of car that you would have expected me to get but hey i mean it is what it is we have another car now which means we can finally work on this car and do the things that we wanted to do for it that was one of the main reasons why i bought this other car was because I needed another car for when I was working on this one because this one's having some issues right now and that's basically what I'm gonna go over in this video is what the heck is going on with this car. So it's been a couple weeks now and this car has been having some problems. I think that is 100% obvious as I have not driven it for a while and every time I have made a video on it, I've been kind of just putting around in it, not really doing anything and that's because there is a very strange issue happening with the idle right now. I don't really know where this stemmed from. It kind of just came out of nowhere, but I have a few ideas that could be the problem. So we'll have to investigate that maybe in another video, but I'll tell you guys what's going on. Man, I haven't driven in a while. The brakes are uh, definitely rusty. Oh, it has been so long since I have driven this car. And I'll tell you what, it actually makes me feel a lot better about it. I, I've been over this in videos before, but when I don't drive this car for a while, it makes me realize how much fun this thing is. So I'm glad that I made the decision not to sell it and just to get another car because yeah, sure, I could have gotten something cool and something different, but you just lose that Honda charm, you know? And I'd never be able to have it again. So that's why I wanted to keep this thing. And my plan is to basically build it the way I want to build it. So now let me tell you what's wrong with it because I have no idea. So basically, I'll see if I can showcase it to you here. If we drop a gear and say we go into neutral, we'll wait until we're at the top of this hill, the revs stay at like 2000 and then slowly creep down every single time I push the clutch in and go into neutral. So for example, didn't do it that time, which is the weird part about it, is it doesn't do it every single time. So basically, what used to happen was that the car wouldn't idle, basically. It, it just, it wanted to die. Every single time you start it on a cold start, it wanted to die, and it would sit around maybe 500 RPM. It was like it wasn't getting any air whatsoever. Is once it kind of resolved itself, then it would, idle very roughly and it was almost like the car was running on three cylinders so what I did was replace the spark plugs I found out that the cylinder four spark plug was very oily we went over this in another video and so you guys watch me replace that we did the valve cover stuff that fixed the oil leak issue so it's not doing that anymore and so my last thing was okay the distributor isn't working or the spark plug wires aren't working it's one of the two so I replaced both of those and the problem is still there. So I'm not really sure what this could be at this point. I'm like, I don't think it's the ECU, right? There's no reason for it to be the ECU. There's potential that it could be something like that, but I don't know, I'm not quite sold on that because I know this ECU works. That's why I say that, but you can see right now it's revving nice and smoothly. So I don't know, I may have actually fixed the issue here. We'll knock on wood, even though I don't have any wood to knock on. This is the thing, so I didn't make a video about this, but I replaced the distributor a couple days ago and it didn't fix the issue immediately. But that's the thing with old cars, right? Is a lot of times you replace parts and the issues don't really fix themselves immediately. It takes a couple days or, you know, 20, 30 minutes worth of driving to fix the problem. So 
I'm just hoping that, I don't know, maybe the car and the ECU are finally working together again and now it understands the distributor has been replaced. It's kind of weird like that. Sometimes those things happen because it's, honestly, it's driving really nice right now. But also a weird thing to note, right, is it's driving really nice right now, but it's really warm outside. And I noticed every single time I drive this car in the cold, it drives really poorly with all the engine and electronic stuff. When I drive it in warm weather, it drives much better and it wants to respond more. I'm not sure why that happens. It's very strange, but hey, it is what it is. And if it's warm outside and it's happy, then I guess, I guess that's what works. So yeah, basically what is going on? It has been such a long time since I've made a YouTube video uh, driving this car. And basically all that's been going on is I was just kind of at a stale point, you know, like for people who don't make YouTube videos, what ends up happening, right, is I, this is very important to explain. This is not my only YouTube channel. So I have multiple YouTube channels that I take very good care of. I upload consistently on um, right now. I have three main ones and that is this one. And then I have one on my music. For those who don't know, I am a professional musician. I make electronic music. That channel has more subscribers than this one does. And usually the videos do quite a bit better on that channel than they do on this one. So that one's kind of my main priority. And then I have a sim racing channel where I do a lot of iRacing stuff all the time and just enjoy sim racing and do a whole bunch of races and whatnot. What am I, I'm like seeing smoke, but I can't tell if it's just my breath or what maybe it's some sort of like leaf or something i think it is my breath i think my breath is hitting this thing and fogging it up because this is really cold i don't know interesting all right what are we doing here guys this is a 45 mile per hour road why are we driving 25 come on so yeah basically between the three youtube channels i'm uploading a lot of youtube videos during the week like a lot of youtube videos during the week at least four to five and between the different channels, I have to think about topics for all those different channels, right? So it can be very, very time consuming and very draining over the course of a week trying to run three YouTube channels. So that's why sometimes some of them just fall off. And I don't mean like they fall off in viewership or subscriber count or anything like that, but they just fall off in terms of my ability to keep up with them because I'm trying to manage so many things at once. Honestly, a lot of people tell me, well, you should just focus on one of them. Well, the problem is I love having the three of them. I really enjoy running the three YouTube channels. So I don't want any of them to not be running because I love sim racing. I love uh, driving on iRacing and I love this Civic. Obviously, as we've mentioned in the videos, like I, I don't want to get rid of this thing. I enjoy driving it and I obviously love uh, my music as well as I've been doing that ever since I was about 10 years old, which I am 24 now. So been in it for a long time. And so it makes it hard to kind of drop one because I always want to be working on the three. And so that's why you see sometimes I don't upload videos for a couple of days or maybe a week or something like that on this channel is because I just have other projects usually related to my music. The sim racing one is the one I would say I care the least about. That's more of a hobby YouTube channel. Um, I'll link them all below if you're interested in watching any of those videos, but the music one is the one I am definitely dedicated the most towards because that's how I make most of my money. So that is honestly literally the only reason I haven't been making videos on this channel is because I've just been way too busy with music stuff trying to finish all this stuff up before the start of the new year. And of course, as well, there was obviously something wrong with the car, which honestly appears to be fixed right now. It seems like the issue has gone away. I'm not so sure I'm sold on that yet. We'll see how it acts over the course of the next couple of days. But um, yeah, I, I, we at least made a step in the right direction. It seems to be driving pretty okay right now. That's also something I forgot to mention as well is my family came home for the uh, holidays and I only see them maybe once or twice a year. So um, that's also a big contributing factor as to why I wasn't making any videos. So of yeah, course, I actually have to be honest, the car's driving fine right now. There's like, like almost nothing wrong with it. Those are famous last words. So I'm gonna hold that thought lightly and I'm gonna expect something to show up in the next couple of weeks. But 
it's interesting how that works, right? I didn't drive this car for about six days after I replaced the distributor and now all of a sudden it wants to work. So I'm not sure why that is, but hey, I'll take it. That, that's a win for me. But I guess the true test is after I turn it off and turn it back on here, is it gonna wanna work again? So <laughs> that's a, a very common theme with this car. It always starts. It has never not started on me. It's just the matter of if it wants to idle or not. A lot of the times it doesn't. So um, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just wanted to have a little conversation with you guys of what's been going on lately. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next video where I'm gonna be showing you uh, the new car. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to say about that because uh, it's definitely, it's interesting for sure. I don't think you guys are expecting what it's going to be at all because it's so not me, but it's so, it's so funny. I think you guys are going to like it. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you're looking forward to or what you think the new car is. Anyways, that is going to be it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.